هن أم الكتاب وأخر متشابهات but there are other verses which are not book كمان and these verses are described with the word متشابهات هن وأخر وأخر متشابهات فأما الذين في قلوبهم ضيق but those in whose heart there is crookedness and ضيق فيتبعون ما تشابه 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 they are devoted to these verses and attempting to interpret these verses ابتغاء الفتنة وابتغاء التأويل in the process of attempting to interpret these verses not explain it, interpret they are on the road of fitna of creating tests and trials and corruption, confusion وما يعلم تأويله وما يعلم تأويله إلا الله and then a comma the punctuation did not come from above we put the we put the punctuation إلا الله والرسخون في العلم يقولون ما يقولون آمنا به كل من عند ربنا وما يذكر إلا أول الألباب. and those who are firmly grounded in the knowledge and and Allah سبحانه وتعالى two things here. no one understands the interpretation of the second set of verses but Allah. And then there's a comma. And those who are firmly grounded in knowledge, they say, "Kullu min indi Rabbina." All of it is from our Lord. And none can be admonished, none can penetrate, none can understand this except those who are people of reflection. Ulu alba. The implication being that they are. Verses of the Quran, which even Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, who was sent to teach the book, could not understand. Does it make sense? And he is the all wise God. Seems as though that comma is in the wrong place because this is contradictory. <laughs> Our teacher of blessed memory, Maulana Fadl Rahman Ansari, Rahimahullah, said, No, that comma is in the wrong place. This is not what the verse is saying. It is Allah knows the meaning, yes, but in addition to Allah, those who are firmly grounded in knowledge, not just the superficial, the one with super, superficial acquaintance with knowledge, those who are firmly grounded in knowledge, they also know the meaning of the mutashabihat. The, the definition of mutashabihat now would be verses which have to be interpreted. I don't think anyone is going to challenge that translation or explanation. Muhkamat do not have to be interpreted because the meaning is plain and clear. But mutashabihat is subject to ta'wil, which is interpretation. <clears throat> and if they are to be interpreted, it will have to be by those who are firmly grounded in knowledge. So you've got to do your homework before you can attempt to interpret these verses. And there is a methodology of interpretation, and that is كُلُّ مِنْ عِنْدِ رَبِّنَا The totality of the data is from Allah. 
And since the totality of the data is from Allah, we have to take the totality if we want to understand the meaning of the singular. Hmm? You have to study the whole and you also have to study what the Prophet said in explaining what is in the Quran. And after you have sat down with the totality of the data, trying to bring it together into a meaningful, harmonious, organic whole, then you might be able to discover the thread which binds it together. But as every scientist would tell you, every eminent scientist would tell you, that the great discoveries of science came after they had done their homework. They had burnt the midnight oil. And then one Sunday morning, perhaps sitting underneath an apple tree, like a flash, the answer came. An intuitive grasp. And Newton understood gravity. You know the story. An intuitive grasp. And electricity was discovered. That intuitive grasp is the introduction of Noor. In other words, spiritual insight, and Allah blesses you. So with an entirely rational inquiry, which must be conducted, you are still in need of a, 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 another component, namely internal intuitive spiritual insight. But then Allah speaks in Surah Al-Isra, and uh, Sheikh Ali Mustafa and myself have been pondering over this verse for some time now. You know the verse about every town and every city is going to be destroyed, including Cape Town. وَكَانَ ذَلِكَ فِي الْكِتَابِ مَسْتُورًا So there are verses of the Qur'an which are covered. Mastur. Covered. When Allah chooses to raise the cover, only then those who are doing the homework and attempting to take the whole and locating the thread which binds it, then will we understand that the verse in Surah Al-Ma'idah is actually saying, Ya ayyu alladhina amanu, la tattakhidhu al-yahuda wa al-nahar wa al-nasara awliya, ba'duhu awliya wa ba'd. O you who have faith in Allah, do not take such Jews and such Christians as your friends and allies in an alliance, whether it be NATO or Sento, Utopito. <laughs> Do not take such Jews and such Christians as your friends and allies who themselves are friends and allies of each other. And if you do that, you belong to them, not to us. If you have a better translation of the verse, let me know it. Hmm? We never understood the verse this way, never, until the cover was lifted. That the Qariya is Jerusalem. Hmm? How does it begin the ayah? Muharram. Muharram ala Qariyati. You remember this is the only ayah of the Quran you read word by word, particularly the Arabs. When they hear it as though they hear it for the first time, because it's always recited so it's a speed. وَحَرَامٌ عَلَىٰ قَرْيَةٍ أَهْلَكْنَاهَا 
أنهم لا يرجعون حتى إذا فتحت يأجوج ومأجوج وهم من كل حدب ينسلون which قرية every single tafsir of the Quran to which you go gives different answers but none has given Jerusalem and yet today there is a growing recognition every day it's expanding that it is indeed Jerusalem but you could only come to the conclusion that it is Jerusalem with that methodology of the totality of the data and so now we recognize the necessity of internal intuitive spiritual insight as an essential component in the study of the Quran. Now some companions of the Prophet were traveling and the evening time came and the Arabs are famed because they are from the seed of Ibrahim they are famed for their hospitality. I don't have the time the chairman is going to pull up my socks, but I could tell you some stories about Arab hospitality. It was evening time when they came across a tribe which was still worshipping the idols. And these people didn't like the new religion. So they didn't offer any hospitality to the Muslims. Okay, so we settled down for the night. In the middle of the night, they came knocking at our door, maybe tent. Brothers, brothers, wake up. The chief of our tribe has been bitten by a snake. And we don't have any medicine. If we don't treat him, he'll be dead by morning. This new religion of yours, do you have anything to help us out? We said, well, since you offered no hospitality, you're going to have to pay for it. <laughs> so they asked how much. We said a hundred sheep. They said deal. <laughs> so one of the Muslims then went and he recited Surah Al-Fatiha and blew on the chief. And he was cured. I have to be soft now because there are some Jamaas don't like to hear this. <laughs> he blew on the chief and he was cured. So we collected the hundred sheep. We went back to Medina. And then we went to Nabi Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam and said, O Messenger of Allah, this is what happened. Can we keep the sheep? So he said, Well, People were rewarded for less than what you did. Keep the sheep, of course, keep it. But how did you know that there is ru'ya? And this, in this context, ru'ya would be spiritual healing. In Surah Al-Fatiha, how did you know that? And then he went on to say that in Surah Al-Fatiha, there's a cure for every illness. So now it's time for us to scratch our heads and begin to think. Eh? It's a good thing to think. In Surah Al-Fatiha there is a cure for every illness. But only he is a Shafi. Only he cures Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the implication is that the recitation of Surah Al-Fatiha must reach him. And if it reaches him, then every illness can be cured. Well then, how does it reach him? Answer, it must reach the arch. Huh? And we know, we know many things about the arch. For example, We know that his arch is resting on water. Or is on water. So the recitation of Surah Al-Fatiha has to reach the arch. <coughs> And if it does, it can cure any, any, any illness. 